Hello everyone, I am Julian Morris with the Channel 5 News. In the headlines, a call to action for UWP supporters as party leader predicts 16 seats in the upcoming general election. Manufacturers still not able to draw down funds from uh, the post-Maria aid bank loan facility and a regional health expert says changing the environment could be the key to lasting behavior change in the fight against diabetes. The details coming up. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up, switch to Flow. It only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. First stop in the news, the United Workers Party maintains that it will form the next government following the 2020 general election. A recent poll by Alex Bruno indicates that the United Workers Party would form the next government if elections were held today. But those poll results have been strongly challenged and dismissed by the ruling DLP. While making no reference to any specific polling data, the opposition leader told supporters recently the party is projected to add a number of new seats, giving it a majority in parliament. This means the DLP would be losing a number of seats to the UWP. But we are doing well. Right now, when we started the year, we were thinking we were going to win this election of about 12 seats. Right now, we are looking at somewhere around 16. In other news now, a regional health expert has emphasized the important role that the environment plays in terms of helping diabetics achieve behavior change. Public health nutritionist from Antigua and Barbuda, Juanita James, delivered the feature address at the Diabetes Association's annual general meeting on Thursday. James told her audience while health education and health promotion programs are important, they must be complemented by a change of environment. As individuals, we try to make some changes. We try to do things differently right but if the environment around us is not changing i mean i don't want to be eating salted nuts every day that's a craving i have salted nuts but if it is in the house if i go to a function where it is being served i am more likely to eat it and if i have denied myself eating it at home i am more likely to eat more of it when i go out because i really like it so if we just do individual behavior, if we even just do family behaviors, but we're not changing anything in our environment, it's going to be harder work for us to maintain those behaviors that we are aiming to, 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 to change. The revision of labeling of prepackaged foods currently being undertaken within the region is seen as one of the important strategies in combating diabetes. And what is being proposed is to use the front of package labeling. This is an example of what has been done in Chile and in Peru, where people can actually understand the amount of sugar, the amount of salt, the amount of calories, the amount of fat in a product without having to go through a whole training program. So you see this stop sign and it says high in sugar. It alerts you and you want to reconsider, is this what I should be choosing? And you want to make a comparison with something else that's being sold on the shelf. Should I give this up? Or should I be using it less frequently? Should I be losing smaller portions of it? You have to know what behaviors you can begin with. Thursday's annual general meeting was held under the theme, The Family and Diabetes, 
Are we drinking ourselves to the grave? Meantime, principal of St. Luke's Primary School, Sister Anita Peter, says she has seen firsthand the negative impact of sugar-sweetened beverages, or SSBs, on her student population. Addressing the annual general meeting of the Dominica Diabetes Association on Thursday, Sister Anita spoke on the impact of sugar-sweetened snacks on students' dental health and student learning. Every year, the dental therapist who visits St. Luke's Primary School is alarmed by the significant number of students, particularly those of pre-kindergarten and kindergarten age, with numerous cavities. The therapist gives dental appointment dates, which we always communicate to parents, some of whom fail to take the children to the dentist. I am always concerned about the students who suffer repeatedly from toothache at school. Often they are sent home, treated locally by their parents, and return to school after a day or two with no visit to the dentist. My staff was also concerned about students' response after break. They observed that students were hyper and had difficulty to concentrate or were lethargic. Some struggled to keep awake and missed out on instructions after break. Sister Adita says the school sold soft drinks for years as it was one way of fundraising, but she says reflecting on the impact of high sugar consumption among students, the decision was taken to ban the sale of soft drinks and introduce the sale of box drinks. Our actions had minimal impact on the students who consume the juices. Some brought soft drinks from home or took along juices loaded with sugar, which were prepared at home. Action had to be taken to help staff and students to develop positive regard for self-care and good health. Last summer, a decision was taken to ban all juices and introduce instead a water policy. Nothing can compare to the original and best nourishment for the body, which is water. Being adequately hydrated provides a person with an overall sense of well-being. But there are other benefits of drinking water that are not so obvious." End of quote. The authors listed the top 10 benefits of drinking water as follows. Water increases energy. Water boosts mental clarity. Water removes toxins and waste from the body. Water enhances skin health. Water assists in weight loss. Water helps with digestion. Water keeps the body more alkaline. Water retains heart health. Water provides essential minerals. And water tastes and feels great. Sister Anita says the school's ban on the sale of soft drinks has significantly affected its daily income, but the health and well-being of students and teachers and their performance are more important than money. In more news now, the United Workers Party's 2020 candidate for La Plaine, Francisca Joseph, has committed to placing greater emphasis on agriculture if she is elected in 2020. Joseph believes a return to agriculture is what's needed in the communities such as Dalis. She's of the view that there has been some degree of neglect. So we will return to bananas. And Dalis, what about plantain? What about the plantain in Dalis? Every weekend you had one in your pockets. We will return to those days. This is what I am promising you. And ladies and gentlemen, what about the Toloma farmers? I see you struggling in Dalis. Up to now, they're going to cover the, the, the building for you. They told you that they were doing it. They have not done it. What has happened to the Toloma farmers in their list? The women, we're going to restructure the group. We're going to give you leadership training, business skills, to ensure that you have a company. And you know how we're going to do it? We're going to extend. We're going to repair and extend the factory. 
So the persons who do not want to grind Toloma and do not want to cool any Toloma, you can sell the raw materials to the, to the um, factory and they will process it for you. So this is one of the things that we are going to do for the people of the Davis community. Too long we have been suffering and these are basic things that we can do. There is a pest affecting the Toloma leaves. Nothing has been done about it. They come and they tell you. What do they tell you? They can do nothing about it and you still remain in the same state and you're suffering. Joseph's concerns are not limited to agriculture. What about the, the, this youth center in Delhi? It has completely demolished. We are going to restore the Delhi youth center to its proper role. We are going to ensure that we have an auditorium, we have a stage, and it can also serve as a disaster emergency shelter for the community. We talk about disaster, we are in the hurricane season. How many of you know where your shelter is? Because we do not have, they do not pay attention to those things. You are watching Channel 5 News. We'll have more after this. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. When persons with TB sneeze or cough, healthy persons nearby breathe in the droplets and the bacteria can lodge in their lungs. People with weakened immune systems such as HIV AIDS, alcohol and drug users, smokers, children and the elderly are most susceptible. Persons with a cough should take precautions when in contact with persons in public places. Cover your mouth when sneezing and coughing. Visit your doctor or health center. You must complete your treatment. TB can be cured even with HIV. Be responsible. Help stop the spread of TB and HIV. Protect yourself and others. Thank you for staying with us. The Aid Bank is reporting very limited progress in its efforts to disburse a $15 million loan facility set up by government to assist businesses in their post-Hurricane Maria recovery efforts. Businesses have expressed an interest in using the funds to refinance, but government does not support the idea. A representative of the bank gave the reason for failure to draw down the funds at a forum organized by the Manufacturers Association on Thursday. The main factor in the, in the Manufacturing Association not being able to access the funds is that there is no refinancing. The fund does not allow for refinancing of um, facilities <coughs> and that is a major, I wouldn't want to say an obstacle, but that is a major factor as I said before that we have. We have been doing loans, yes, for the in the sector, but they are not um, large loans. We have categorized them into small, medium, large loans. They are generally in the small to medium sizes. So we have been doing that for those who meet the criteria. As with any loan facility, you have to have a criteria for it, and it does have one. Yes, I know Mr. Mackenzie and his um, other. Um, colleagues have met with government and with aid bank in an effort to try to change the or amend the criteria so that they could access it because I mean we understand that they after Maria you were not able to produce so you were not able to um, pay your loans for example so you would need refinancing in that regard. So we are still at that juncture, and that, as I said, is a major factor. Bruno says to date the bank has received only six of the 15 million which the agreement makes provision for. Under that facility, aid bank has only disbursed small business loans to those who meet the criteria. The institution has so far not disbursed any loans above a million dollars. 
And leader of the parliamentary opposition, Lennox Linton, is urging supporters to get to work and leave no stone unturned as they focus their attention on the prize in the upcoming general election. The opposition leader told supporters at a rally in La Plaine last weekend nothing will be left to chance in the upcoming election. Victory is at hand. Do your work. Talk to your family, talk to your friends. Make sure everybody is registered to vote. There cannot be as many people outside as there are within who want that change and we will not be defeated. We will not be cheated either because given what all the polls are saying to the Labour Party, they know that they do not have enough votes on the ground in Dominica to win the election. Our truth, your truth, is marching on. Marching on to a certain victory at the polls where we will all get together and stand for what is right about our Dominica because there is nothing wrong about Dominica that cannot be set right by what is right about Dominica and we stand for what is right in Dominica and will prevail. There has been concern in Dominica about the increasing Haitian population and their potential impact on upcoming elections if they were eligible to vote. The Haitian community in Dominica, these are friends. We brought them here first for a specific purpose and they will continue to enjoy life among us. We only ask them to understand that one of the reasons why they left their land, Haiti, was because it became impossible to live there because of economic circumstances brought on by brutal dictatorship and so they cannot come to be with us in Dominica to support the emergence of another brutal dictatorship here that will kill Dominica as in the very same way as dictatorship killed life and prospects for better living in Haiti. And if you were one of those who felt the ground moving beneath your feet at about 6.15 a Thursday morning, you were not imagining it. Disaster coordinator Fitzroy Pascal confirmed it was a magnitude 5.0 earthquake. The quake was located 91 kilometers north-northeast of Roseau, that is northeast of Marigalat at a depth of 10 kilometers. Thursday's quake was also reported felt in Guadeloupe and Antigua. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. To end the news, a look again at the headlines, a call to action for UWP supporters as party leader predicts 16 seats in the upcoming general election. Manufacturers still not able to draw down funds from the post-Maria aid bank loan facility. And a regional health expert says changing the environment could be the key to lasting behavior change in the fight against diabetes. 
Feel free to contact us at news at marpin2k4.com. You may access our past newscasts on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the production team, I am Julian Morris. Thank you for watching. Join us tomorrow.